Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 7 of 7th Time Loop. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Jeez. Okay. Be like, yes. Are you decent? Seriously? <laughs> But maybe, you know, now that he's found a lady for him, is this going to prevent him from having this war? Or is he still going to have it and is she still going to die? I don't know if happy is the word. I mean, maybe intrigued, but not happy.
first. Really? I, I mean, because that's a lot of people. And you telling me that's on the smaller side? Oh, yeah, because all them women is looking at you like this bitch right here. Mm -mm. I mean, he has to do something, AJ. Can't talk about that. So, you know, we might as well play the part. God, his eyes are so pretty. You're like, yes, how in one time, Lube, you stabbed me, and the next one, you know, we're here dancing. In this moment, being in love, quote unquote. Uh oh. It's like almost in every moment, uh, uh, even going into the previous time loop for her. Uh oh. Um. He looked sad, and here he doesn't look sad, and I think it's just because these two have finally found each other. But of course, it, it's one sided. Only one of them out of the two feels feelings. The other one is like, no, you, you, you killed me. Every time you killed me, so I gotta watch you.
You ain't put anything in that wine, huh? Actually, no. It's quite good. See, he just wanted an indirect kiss. No, something tells me you'll be chosen. I really don't like her. She got on my nerves. Yeah, it takes time. Not everybody is perfect. You're going to make mistakes.
<laughs> wait until y'all three find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wish he didn't say anything, huh? The rest of you can go. Her dress is really pretty. I love the colors. It gives very much, um, oh my god, um, I think either Barbie Nutcracker or Barbie, I think it's Swan Lake, one of the two. And, and just because they taught you like that doesn't mean you didn't need to treat others like that, though. That's your fault for doing the same thing that they did. because you didn't show them so much. I feel for her, I do, but I mean, she did everything in the wrong way, but it's only because of the fact is of the way she was taught by previous maids. Even though you said all those disrespectful things.
Oh, pretty. Maybe. I love the way she looks like that. Oh, it's him! That's a good thing that she's doing because the fact is she's probably going to be re-meeting every single person from her previous life all so that they can connect in this life. Now, let, let's go back to last week and meeting Diana and the maids and stuff. The fact is that she was a mean girl and such. And this is why at the end of the day, you have to treat people the way that you want to be treated. You can't automatically think that just because how you were treated in the past with someone in a situation doesn't mean you need to treat everybody else like that. But because she thought that it was okay, the maids didn't really spend any time with her in the previous gen, she's like, okay, well, maybe I just need to do the same thing to the, to the new girls and such and barely give them the time of day. And how she really much lashed out on everyone else being like, oh, just put this away like I told you this the way I like like I told you when this is that and the third but when she saw that Risha was who she was and not a maid her whole demeanor changed her whole like how she talked and just her proportion how she stood and being shocked the, the shock value was good very very good that is like the like the karma is a bitch for her because it's like you've talked all this smack about these girls and said things about Risha um in front of her like this girl you think this girl ain't gonna go back and talk to you know Arnold about this no she's going to you know take matters into her own hands and when it is time for all y'all to officially meet her as the lady of this situation and of the kingdom eventually oh yeah everyone has to be nice now Everybody has to treat her with respect. But when she was not, you know, dressing in the gorgeous, like, beautiful dresses, everything else, everybody wanted to treat her like crap. So, once again, you treat people the way you want to be treated because you never know when that one person can come back and say, oh, hey, no, don't take her or him because of the fact is X, Y, and Z and stuff. Karma is really a bitch. So, no matter what, always treat people with kindness, treat people the way you want to be treated, never, even when you have a bad day, even when somebody comes in to your job, um, to any other workplace, any situation that you are in, and let's say somebody comes in with the biggest BS of an attitude for no freaking reason, and they lash out on you. Biggest thing is you don't want to do is you don't want to go down the same level as them because then you're you're just going to be pissed as much. You take a deep breath, compose yourself, and, and try to work it out. You try to make their day better. Even if they irritating you, the best thing that you can do, you can smile in front of their face. Smile in front of, your, in front of their fucking faces. You having a better day than they are. Yes, you want to feel bad for them because you're wondering, oh, hey, why you're having a bad day and such. But the biggest thing that you can do for somebody who's pissed you the fuck off is just smile in their face and such. Because you know... Regardless, you better than them. Really, you know, everyone, we all say no one's better than anyone else. 
but at least in the situation of whatever they're going through, you're you're happier. And that's all that fucking matters at the end of the day. So don't let people bring you down for anything. Always rise above everything. I'm just saying, you know, because I, I do the same freaking thing at work. Because the, the people that I deal with on a daily basis, on the four days that I work at my job, it, it's a... It's a double-edged sword. That's all I say. I try not to lash out at people only if it's to the point where I'm really getting irritated. And it's almost very easy to piss me off and such. Um, but I don't like it when people yell at me. That is my trigger. You start you start yelling at me, you start getting your fingers in my face and stuff, that's it. Like, I, I see red and I don't look back. My biggest thing is I will never put my hands on you and such, so don't put your hands in my face. That's the biggest thing. Do not let anybody put your hand, put their hands in your face. It's a big no-no. Do not let anybody come into your space or anything because that can set you off. If you ever have a breakdown in wherever you work, regardless, over someone, just get up, go to the bathroom, go somewhere just to compose yourself and such. Like... Um, I, I cannot believe I'm about to tell this fucking story again. Um, about with this same job a couple of years ago, I like about a year or two ago, I had a breakdown in the store, and it got to the point where I cried. I fucking cried, and people didn't give two shits about the fact that I was having a big major meltdown. I was crying and such. People didn't care. People don't care at the end of the day. So I had to compose myself. Um, and such. And continue on. But after that, I had to take a couple of days off. I was like, I cannot look at this store the same way again. With the situations that I've gone through with this store, it, it's always like, you know, that one sign of where I, you need to go? That's how I am right now with this store and such. But I am still at the same time trying to stay where I am up until I find a different job. But it is, it's really hard because all those memories, the... <laughs> more bad than good always do come out especially when you're in that environment that feels very toxic to you and it's like I'm trying so hard not to have another meltdown not to have another breakdown but it is very easy to have a second one just after you had a first one so I, I mean the shit that I've gone through with this store is something and I, I pray to God I don't go through it again I'm praying that I get a new job but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of Seventh Time Loop. If you got, uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my chat squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday when I come home from work for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.